Oh, hello there, sweet pea. Oh, oh no, your your back door was open, so I just let myself in, you know, bestie? Well, yeah, you know, I've, I've done it before, I was never... Oh, the handcuffs. Yeah, no, no, I looked at the way you naturally sleep, so that I could see how you're tossing and turning all last night. Well, for a few hours, yeah. Oh, it was peaceful to watch you sleep, my dove. Mm. Look at that sweet little head of yours. Giving you forehead kisses all night long was so... It just mm, tickled my fancy. I've done this a few nights before. Um, I'd just come in and watch you and occasionally give you a little mm, peck. But, uh, well, I know we're friends, but... Okay, so anyways, I watched the way you slip and I put the handcuffs... Yeah, you can see there's like two or three so that you have a little bit of space to move around. I didn't want you to stir while you were asleep. I wanted you to have plenty of room to move around, of course. Well, no, they're all linked together so that it's nice and strong and that strong bone there. I couldn't quite figure out how to put chains up that wouldn't be too heavy. I, I, I tested some things, but you would always stir a little bit. And this way you didn't seem like you were stirring. Hmm? Oh, that's padding so that, you know, the, the metal doesn't erode away the skin on your your, your sweet wrists. I wouldn't want to hurt you, darling. Well, you're right. This is not your room. It's not. It is, um, it's another, it's another, it, I made a replica. We're in a nice sweet place and I wanted you to feel at home, so... I tried my best. I'd come over every night and I'd take a few pictures and see how you moved things around. I, I made an entire living space. It looks exactly like your apartment. The, the living room does. The kitchen. The bathroom. I had this whole place renovated for you, darling. Hmm? Well, honey, it was always you, you know? I, I always wanted to be with you. You're, you know, the other night when I told you, well, really, it was just, it wasn't the other night, was it? It was last year. When we sat down and I was having that mental breakdown after I just got back from the institution after, you know, what I did, you know, they have to hold you for 72 hours. And you told me that I needed to live a life worth living and I needed to just go for the things I wanted. And I told you I never thought I'd find someone who would really want to be with me long term. And you said that the next person that I got feelings for I should really go for it and I went out and dated I, I did you saw I tried and but the more I got to talking to you the more I just feel like you can hear my heartbeat through all the noise around me you seem to always understand and I kept trying to get the guts to tell you but then when you said that I should just go all in put everything that I could into being with the person I wanted to be with I, I knew it was you you know you're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. You'd be like heaven to touch. Mm, I want to hold you so much. <laughs> and our glass love has arrived. Mm, your neck is delicious. And I thank God I'm alive. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. <laughs> Do you remember we were watching that movie? I don't even remember what movie it was in, but that song started playing. It's some rom-com from like the early 2000s or something. Ten Things I Hate About You, maybe? I don't know. It was something you liked. <laughs> no, you're right, you're right, you're right. I just... I want to be with you. I want to be with you. And I, I didn't want to give you the option of being able to run away. And so I brought you here. And I, I figured you could stay here as long as it takes for you to see that I'm the one for you. And for you to see that I love you, baby. And if it's quite all right, I need you, baby, to warm my lonely nights. Please. What? What? Well, I'm, I'm trying to do my best, you know, serenade you. I got, look, there's candles everywhere. It's, look at all, I poured my life savings into this to get you to, what? 
What? You're kidding. No, you just want to get out of here. That's what you're saying. I just... You want to... You want to be with me. Well, I mean, no, that is the goal. I absolutely want you to be with me, but I figured... I, I, I knew that you couldn't be with me if I... I beg pardon? Well, I figured you wouldn't be able to be with... I, I'm i sorry. I'm stuttering and stammering because I just never thought that you would want me. And you're willing to stay here? Well, I, I, it's just not what I, how I thought things were going to go. You want to stay here, live in here, to prove to me that you love me? Is this because you... But if you loved me, why didn't you tell me sooner? Well, I mean, that's highly considerate of you, at the very least. But, well, yeah, it would make me feel a lot more secure if you were here. No, I, um, you have excellent internet down here. My friend Annie, she said she has Giga Chat internet. And honestly, like, that's great. I'm so glad she does. I want to, I made sure to get the same plan as her. So you're going to have super fast internet down here. You can do your work. I called your boss. He's totally okay with you working from home. He knows that you'll get everything done and you've done it before. So I figured you have all the luxuries that you could possibly want down here and, and we can be together. I work, I work online too. We don't have to be apart and you could really get to. Well, I worried about your friends and your family. You know, I've had all these problems and they know about them. And I just, I'm not considered the stable type to be dating. So I, you really want to be here? Well, okay, but you see all those points in the floor over there. Those are different anchor points I put so I can attach you to different spots around the house if you want to be in the living room you're attached to that point there so that you can just make it to the door uh but not be able to go out in case you need to get a package or something um if you're going into the kitchen then I can slide it over there so that you have a little bit more space but you won't be able to get to that point to be able to slide it I will have to if you're going to be using the restroom or taking a bath sadly you're going to have to take baths showers just didn't make sense with the setup I can go attach it to that point whatever you need and now that you're in bed here I have you attached to those three points just to make sure that you're firmly down really you're willing to do all of this for me to make me feel more secure well no it's just that everybody leaves me my my mom left when I was little my dad had me when he was older, so he died. Not and, and, and I, I just I've never had anyone stay in my life for any length of time. Anyone I cared about, everyone who's ever loved me has died or just run away because I've been too much. So I, I figured if I just showed you how awesome I was, it. And you're still willing to stay. Now I just can't believe it. It's <sighs> mm -hmm. no, your lips are so soft. I could kiss him the entire time. I just well, I did bank on this going really left. I figured you would struggle and whatnot and what's that oh that's not that's just for tranquilizing you in case things went really left well yeah there's all kinds of booby traps and stuff set around alarms just so that i know if you're you're trying to escape see i th i thought you would like it here over time you would just have to get used to the idea of not 
having as much freedom as you had in your l- normal life. Mm-hmm. Well, that is going to be a bit of a problem, you know, your friends and your family. But I figured what we'd do is I could do some videos um, with some newspapers and or have you talk about things that are currently happening in the news so that they know that there's no way that you would have known about that beforehand um, and send in some videos. Because I, I don't know if I'm comfortable with you live chatting anyone and telling them what's going on, so on and so forth. Well, you're right. They could go to your house and they could knock on your door. But you don't have to open the door. Like even if they, someone does a wellness check, you can absolutely just ignore someone. It's, it's, it's fun. Well, no, I, there's some other checks and stuff that I have there too. The ring doorbell. Mm-hmm. Nope. You can always just answer it and have you, you could do a vo- live voice chat there, but I have, I was thinking a pre-recorded video could help just saying, no, I want you to go. I'm inside. I'm happy. And as long as if they, if they start asking a ton of questions, then I can always just quickly have you record something and then play that for them too. I've got some options. Well, of course I had th- thought this through. I've been, you know, these renovations took months to do to get this to look like your place. And in those months, I just, I'd sneak into your house and just watch you at night and sometimes during the day because you would get up and then I'd get trapped and then I'd have to hide under beds or, you know, I'm quite tiny. I could fit um, into all kinds of different little spaces and just watch you go about your day to day. I know your routine. I know all of the football games that you like. If they're set to record. I know all of the your favorite places to go out and eat. I'm going to absolutely have those delivered. And I'm hoping in like three to four months time. Hmm? Well, I figured it would take three to four months for you to be able to learn to really accept this. And I thought maybe we could go out on some dates and I could put um, a shock collar on you. Well, not around your neck. Around a very sensitive place in your body. Mm Mm-hmm. And that way, you know, if you start trying to do anything silly, then um, I can make sure you're taking it. Well, yes, I guess you could slip it off, but there's some other things that I can absolutely make sure get attached to you. And Well, I was thinking about you're going to have to get a piercing or something so I could attach the collar and then get a small padlock to lock it in place and you wouldn't easily be able to get it off. Well, I mean, piercings don't hurt too bad. Look, we have many different options. We can cross that bridge when we get there of what would make us both comfortable so I know you're not going to run away and so that you're comfortable going out. Okay, I get it. You don't want a piercing, but can we just cuddle? Can you just hold me? Please. I love you so much. I love you so much. And just, oh, your phone? What's wrong with it? Oh, well, yeah, you did have a bunch more contacts. I took all the females out of it and blocked their phone numbers. Well... I deleted all the messages I sent it to them, but I told them all that thing. You're they're no longer in the market. Don't want to talk to them. Well, yes, you're your sister too. Hey, listen here. I know that, you know, she's dated some men from Alabama and I'm not quite sure where she stands on things. Okay. I don't know. She's been a little too friendly with that dryer and her dishwasher or her, her, her d- garbage disposal. She's done a lot of weird things. That's right. That's right. Anyways, but, Baby, I love you. Can you just wrap your arms around me, please? There we go. I know I'm really cold to the touch, aren't I? It was always you. You were always the one that I wanted to be with. I should have seen it. We've known each other for how long? How long have I known you? And I just didn't see how amazing you are. And I just, I can't let you get away. And I can't let you continue going on in this life thinking, well, just thinking that you should ever, (laughs) ever, ever get away from me. I love you. Mm. You're the best thing in the world. I love you. And I mean that. No, I mean that. I love you. 
and I'll always love you. And if you ever don't love me, I understand. I'll just have to make you love me again. Oh, isn't this nice? You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. Hey guys, Zayn Alexander here. A uh, special shout out to Skeletor uh, on our Discord channel. Skeletor uh, was the one that suggested this entire story. A Yandere girl that was obsessed with the guy uh, steals him, takes him um, back to her lair, and then realizes that he's legitimately down to be there. I love this, and honestly, this might become my very next series that I put quite a few episodes into. I love the idea of a guy who is totally okay with comforting a very, um, very insecure girl. And um, inspiration of why I connected with this story is because I have some Yandere's tendencies. I talk about this quite a bit on Discord. I'm not sure how many of you guys know in these stories uh, on this channel. But uh, in court-ordered therapy, because I become very obsessive and have been in quite a few fights that were due to my insecurities of my my significant other being um this uh, getting attention from other females so on so forth it was always fighting with the the other girls never my my significant other um and it it does come from a place of loss of uh, my parent my mom walking out when I was younger um my dad being older when he had me so he wasn't in my life for as long as you know you'd, you'd want your daddy to be um <laughs> it, and just um just a string of unfortunate events of people that I've really, really loved um, not being able to be in my life for as long as you would want someone to be in your life. So uh, I really connected with it, the idea of having someone that's there, that you somehow have control over them being there. That is like a dream place in my head. Um, not healthy and working on it, but a dream place in my head. And then realizing like that, that really dream moment is realizing that they really want to be there. They, they, they don't want to leave you. That's just mwah, chef's kiss. So really, really like the story. Thank you, Tor, for suggesting it. If you guys have suggestions, feel free to hit me up on Discord um, or on Patreon. You can also DM me on Patreon um, if you have suggestions or ideas that you would like to see me do. Um, and if it's something I can post for free for everyone, then there's absolutely no cost. I do do commissions um, for stuff that I can't use elsewhere. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, if you guys, or, or if I want, you want it front loaded, like you want it to happen somewhere closer to now. And I don't, and I, and I have plans for other stuff that I want to get done. Um, I should put that caveat in there, but yeah, this idea like really hit home with me. Today's story was going to be along those lines. I just had to make minor tweaks to it. So it was no big, no big deal at all. Um, yeah. So I want to Thank you guys, too, because, like, we're almost at 8,500, which is not a real number. That's crazy. And our server is officially over the 500 mark. We are sailing into 600 people on the server. I am frequently on it. We also have other VAs on it, like Lacey, Annie, um, Annie Amund. She is coming back. I can't wait for her to start being stories again. We have Dream Audio VA, Dream Girl Nightmares, and... Um, Quite a few more VAs coming on. Um, we have some male, male VAs too. So if you guys want to come hang out with people who like like ASMR type content, love this type of stuff. Wait, I, wait, I said we're over 500. We're over 600 now. Sorry. Tell a lie. <laughs> Tell a lie. We're at over 600. We're, we're running towards seven, which is bizarre. Absolutely bonkers. Um, but yeah, come hang out with us. We game quite a few nights together i know we played a lot of jackbox some people played cards against humanity uh seven days to die uh a little bit of among us um but yeah come hang out we're all super nice it's a very chill environment um and and yeah anywho i love you guys i will talk to you soon the links for for um discord is in the description below i'll talk to you guys in the next one bye